Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about releasing ladybirds onto your balcony garden. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. I bought these ladybird larvae online. I'll leave a link below in the description box. In this little container, there are 250 larvae. Some are just eggs and then there are some that are slightly more advanced. There are some shells and attached to the shells you can see some of the eggs. So what you're supposed to do is just sprinkle some of these shells all around your garden and then a bit later your eggs will hatch. Let's open it up and take a closer look. You can see the eggs stuck on the little shells and also on the green paper as well. Oh, hello. <laughs> this guy's already hitching a ride. So what I'll do is these ones that are slightly bigger I'm going to place around the garden where I know that there is an aphid issue. Why aphids? Well, that's because these guys feast on aphids. This guy is so small, I had to get my micro camera out just to film it. Look at the size of that mite as well under this camera. At this stage, each one of them can eat up to 100 aphids. There are several stages in the life cycle of ladybirds. The mothers lay tiny yellow eggs near aphid colonies. Then, they move to a larval stage. Now, in this larval stage, they eat so much that they actually have to shed their skin up to four or five times. After that, they pupate and then turn into adult ladybirds. Here is some pupating on the cloud garden. A month after opening that lid, I now have my own army attacking the aphids. They've even begun mating on the cloud garden. I found in order to keep them, what I have to do is make sure that there are enough aphids up on the cloud garden. Imagine my surprise to find this. It looks like this ladybird has just emerged. It's unfurled its wings and you can see it's actually white. Over the next hour or so, I watched it and in the sun, you could see that slowly the colors and the dots started to arrive. There's a large number of different species of ladybirds. And you can tell them apart by the spots on their backs. If you remember, the one that I hatched were two spotted ladybirds, but this one seems to have more. In fact, this isn't just your average ladybird. This is an invasive species from Asia a harlequin ladybird. It's almost double the size of the two-spotted ladybird. These guys are not picky at all. They will eat aphids, but also anything that they can get their hands on. So caterpillars, eggs from other insects, including beneficial insects too, and even ladybird larvae. What makes these guys an invasive threat is the fact that they can predate on pretty much everything, as I've already mentioned. Essentially, they'll outcompete all of our native ladybirds and they'll eat them too. What was remarkable to me was the fact that these ladybirds must also be breeding on my balcony garden. It's only been made possible because I've left my garden to go wild this year. I'm so in awe at nature at the fact that this ladybird's mother flew all the way up to the 18th floor and wanted to lay her eggs here on my prime real estate. I definitely recommend releasing ladybird larvae onto your balcony gardens, not so much the adults because they'll fly away if you don't have the right conditions. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I'll see you again soon. Bye.